Let's talk some North Florida basketball now. Pleased to be joined by the head coach, Derek Gibbs, and Adrian Jackson. We appreciate you guys making some time for us today. An exciting season ahead. Certainly, you guys picked to finish fifth in the ace hunt, and you bring back so many weapons to this squad. Coach, start off with that. What's it like having so many familiar faces, and not just players you know and have been around, but players that have been very productive on the court as well? It's really exciting. Uh, you know, this is the first year we've been in this situation where we've got a lot coming back. Um, and, and like you mentioned, a lot of production coming back with Jazz Bond, um, Adrian Jackson, uh, Janisha Green, Dasha Aramaba, and then obviously adding uh, Tiff back into the mix after coming back from her injury. So we're excited about the group. It's going to hopefully allow us to, to be more productive and more efficient on both ends of the floor, uh, which hopefully leads to wins. What did it mean to you guys, both to the program and overall, to do what you did last year? That is, your first winning season, your first plus 500 season in league, and how does it kind of set up this year? You know, it's great because it kind of validates what we're doing. Um, we've, we've gotten better every year, um, and, you know, that was kind of the next stepping stone. And so, you know, it just, again, opens the door for us to continue that process. Um, we're, we're very process-driven in terms of what we do and what our approach is. And so a matter of getting better, just like, <clears throat> excuse me, just like we get better every day, um, you know, we want to improve and get better every year. Um, and what we have returning um, and the camaraderie this group has, the cohesion we have, um, I think it's setting us up to hopefully take another big step. Adrian, you talk about this season and the group you have coming back. Do you feel like it's all kind of been building towards this year for you and some of these other uh, veterans on the team? Um, yes, sir, definitely. Uh, each year we just get better and better, and the goal at the end of the year is to obviously, you know, come out with a win, but with a ring, but just not to end up in the same spot that we ended up in last year. So, Coach, Adrian is your four-year senior. Uh, yes. What is it? What have you seen about her, and how has she grown year by year? And what has she meant to your program as you build this? Yeah, you know, she's a four-year senior. She's the first four-year kid we've had come through this program since I've been here. Um, and it's exciting because, you know, one of the, the joyful parts of this job is watching a young lady come in as a freshman and watch them grow and progress to where she is right now. And, you know, you, you see her come in and um, have having to deal with the adversity she's had to deal with on and off the court and her toughness and mindset that she's um, brought to the table every year in terms of getting better. She's learned how to work and learn how to improve through that process. But the big thing too is, you know, we saw a little girl come in and she's a grown woman now. And that's the exciting part too. And, um, and, and so as we continue this process, you know, that's one, again, one of the things, one of the reasons why we do what we do is just watch that process to be a part of that process and expecting her to have uh, by far the best year she's had since she's been here. Coach, some news for you in the offseason as well. You get a contract extension there. I, that has to feel pretty good just seeing the commitment to what you're doing and knowing that so many people feel like you have this program headed in the right direction. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's huge. It's huge on so many fronts. And, um, again, validates what we're doing. Um, shows, again, the commitment that the administration has and the belief they have in my, myself and my staff as we continue to build this thing and, and move in the direction we're going. Um, now it's us, you know, that's, you know, done and over with. And now we have to continue that process and continue to get better and continue to bring great young women in this program who can help us um, grow this program both on and off the court. Adrian, from your standpoint, what would make a successful senior season? Mm. Mm. That's a good question. <laughs> um, successful senior season would be to win the ASON championship and go into the NCAA. There you go. Set the bar high. And, Coach, I don't know. You guys are going to be racking up the hotel points, it sounds like. Was it all but three <laughs> non-conference games are away from home? You're going yes. to the, test these girls, aren't you? Yeah, that's the plan. You know, I, I can honestly say, you know, I, I, all of it wasn't done on purpose. But... Um, when it all breaks down, you know, we've, we've played really, really well in this arena in Jacksonville in the confines of our own home. And we have struggled on the road, especially early in the season. And, um, you know, last year towards the end of the season and going into a conference tournament, we kind of started getting to our groove on the road and figuring out what we needed to do to win on the road. Um, and, and I felt what it was, you know, with how it all played out, I felt it was a good idea to, to test them early and try to get ourselves into that groove early because that's been our Achilles heel. So if we can get off to a good start, which we need to do, a lot of that will be with successful road trips. So when that gets us in conference, we're good and ready to roll. And hopefully that kind of works out for us. Yeah, and that first test comes on November 5th as they kick off the season at Wisconsin.